Welcome, and thank you for joining us today uh, on this webinar. My name is Jennifer Campbell. I'm the consulting manager here at Open Source Integrators. I'm here with Wolfgang Hall, who is a practice lead here at Open Source Integrators, specifically relating to field services management. So we're here today to learn about some of the general philosophies and approaches that Wolfgang has experience with and we're, we're building out in our uh, open source integrators offerings. So Wolfgang, with your extensive background in this, would you please give us uh, just a high level summary of field services management and how you approach those types of projects? Thanks, Jen. I'm really pleased to be here to talk about one of the things I'm really passionate about, which is field services management. And uh, the way I like to start always is to describe it as a field service management life cycle. As so many things, uh, it's actually a continuum of events that need to happen to make field service management efficient and effective and uh, really on target with customer expectations. So the first step is always the planning step and it's capacity planning. We want to plan for the field services staff, whether that's salespeople or technicians, uh, anybody out in the field, we need to know what is actually the workload and how do we respond to it with the right scheduling and assignment of resources. Mm -hmm. So we have a capacity plan that then leads into the second step, which is assignment and a rough schedule to assign work to technicians or technicians to work, uh, maybe it's salespeople or technicians, and then uh, as the third step to actually take a more detailed schedule that gets into the same day uh, work into actually sending people out in the field. Sometimes these detailed schedules are done in the second step where I already have a next day schedule for all these resources. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's done in the morning of the same day. People get sent out and ideally they have all the information in front of them on a mobile device so they know what the work orders are, what right. the sales calls are that they need to perform. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the day there's always a reason for, for changes, there, there are disruptions. Right. People that you want to visit are not at home, there are, there's, there's heavy traffic and all of these things mm -hmm. that actually make the schedule very dynamic. Mm -hmm. And this dynamic scheduling, this, this, uh, this dispatching need to respond to sometimes also urgent calls, a customer may call in and say, I need you here in the next two hours. Mm -hmm. If you have a, a critical business, uh, I worked with an elevator company and they had people that got stuck in an elevator. So you had to actually wow. send people out to uh, free these people. <laughs> you don't want to be in an elevator for too long. So that was one of the uh, examples for critical dispatching. So the dispatching component, having real-time access to the information on both sides, the management and also the field staff, mm -hmm. is really critical. Mm -hmm. And then the last step of the process, the fourth step, is actually the reporting to get all this data that you collected, make sense of it, and see what are the key performance indicators, the KPIs, on schedule performance, customer satisfaction, mm -hmm. um, ma maybe it's reporting on vehicle fuel efficiency, uh, driving behavior, all of these things can be combined. And the, the beautiful part about uh, our work as integrators is mm -hmm. that we can use enterprise resource planning systems like Odoo to take all this information and be the center aggregation to all this data that comes in and it can be disseminated and it can interface with systems like GIS or, or geographic yes. information systems. So, but, but Jen, you actually worked on a project, so you have experience with these processes on something that you worked on. So That's maybe right. you can actually give us an example. Yeah, there. I'd love to. Thanks, Wolfgang. Okay. So um, Wolfgang's right. that There's a project that I'm actively working on right now that is leveraging Odoo as a foundation. It has that as a open source base, that, but we're designing it in a way that such that they can grow into leveraging these more complex field service management concepts in the future. And so there's already elements in play with the, with the, uh, the software, the uh, 
automation processes that we're building now that, that touch on some of these concepts, specifically the, the daily scheduling, the connection between the service agent going out and the customer, as well as bringing in customer service calls and link, you know, determining when those need to result in a service visit. So all of these elements are already built in with this first phase of that project. So the foundations are there and it's, it's pretty exciting because we're, we're just, just a few weeks away from launching this baseline, which means that the very early parts of this year, we'll be starting to explore the opportunities that this open source software foundation will bring this mm -hmm. customer to leverage all these complex concepts that you're talking about, Wolfgang, and leveraging that data that you're talking about too, which I think is one of the elements that sometimes gets overlooked, especially if you know an open source uh, implementation is not done right. You, you really can't leverage the data well if, if you don't have the foundations there. So the, the opportunities that setting up this process in the future and leveraging that data, seeing what you can learn from that, what kind of decisions you can make and build your company based on that new information is pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. So I, it'll be really, really neat to see uh, what happens over the next year with this project as we start to grow into this area and, and, and take on some of these more complex concepts. So yeah, well, I'm, I'm excited to be involved and, and eager to yeah, for this, the ride that's coming. This is a great example. And uh, I, I think the customer will really benefit from this integrated system one thing that we experience in our work is that a lot of customers start out with this, this separate uh, number of systems that they have to integrate. They have a separate fleet management system for, for vehicle maintenance. They have the ERP side. They have a customer service system, a, a dispatching system, a scheduling system. And all these systems don't talk to each other very well. And what happens is that uh, decisions are made that are really not effective for the organization. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, I'm just a, a firm believer in integrating these pieces so they communicate smoothly, just to share all the information, all the wisdom that is there in the company and make just better decisions. And this exactly. is why I'm so excited about our work at, as, at Open Source Integrators because we're bringing these systems together and we're helping our customers to be more effective. And that kind of makes my day and makes me <laughs> want to come here every day. Yes, so. yes, I see that's the seed of, of our passion. So very cool. OK, well, thank you so much for joining us today, Wolfgang. Appreciate all your insights. And thank you for chiming in and listening to our webinar. Uh, please remember to go online and check our website at opensourceintegrators.com to see some more webinars and yeah. learn even more about logistics and uh, field services management. Right. Thank you so much. Bye.